I'm going to walk you through how to use Clo Viewer. I'm a designer and I work in Clo. I'm able to build designs. I want to share them with people who do not have Clo. Clo has a free viewer program that anyone can download and open up the same file type that someone working in Clo is creating. So to save my project, as a user, I would just go to File, Save As. In this case, I've already saved it. I'm just going to hit Save Project again. The name of my file is called Blue Lace Dress. So in order to use the free viewer, you need to go to the Clo website and download it first. I'm going to open up my web browser. I'm already at the Clo website. If you click on any of these tabs, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to click on the pricing tab and if you scroll to the very, very bottom of the page, you're going to find something called downloads. See here? If you click on that, this brings you to a general archive of installers and here on the left hand side we have the download for Cloviewer. If you click on this, the installer file will begin downloading to your computer. It is a very quick download and it's also a very fast installation. Once the download is completed, you can either double left click on this to immediately start the installation or you can right click and choose open or show in folder. I'm just going to choose open and then it is going to prompt Cloviewer to install into your computer. And then you just hit next and agree. Choose where you want this to be saved. I'm going to save this in my program files install. Great, and then it is finished installing. In now I have Cloviewer installed onto my computer. If I go and search through my programs, I will find Cloviewer. So this is an application that you install directly onto your computer. It's not a web-based viewer. So once you have the viewer open, you can open up a project that someone has shared with you. So if you go to open project, I can browse through my computer and locate a file that I would like to look at. Also, if you just have a browser window open, you can easily just drag and drop a project file into the Clo Viewer while it's open and it's going to prompt you to either open or add that into your workspace. I'm going to hit cancel at this moment. I just want to, I'm going to use the file that I have. So when you're in Clo Viewer, this has the same maneuverability that the Clo 3D window has and also some various fabric views. When you're reviewing your garment, make sure that you are on what's called thick textured surface. This is the quality in which the garment will look the best. And you really are just able to move around. You can hide the 3D grid if you don't want to see it. If you go to display, environment, show 3D grid. So you have, might have a little bit cleaner workspace. And the navigation here is the same as it is in the program, and that is if you move your scroll wheel on your mouse, that will zoom in and out. If you hold down your scroll wheel as a button, that is your panning function. And then if you hold your right mouse button down and just move around, that will allow you to rotate. There are also shortcuts to jump to a straight on front, back, or side view. If you just right click anywhere in the gray space here, you'll see these shortcuts and they also correlate to numbers on your keyboard. So if I just hit two, that'll jump to the front, eight is the back, four, six, and so on. Three is a three quarter view. So you do not have to have purchased Clo. This is a free downloadable viewer. And then any project file that either a vendor or another designer or somebody shares with you, you can open it up and look at it. You can also jump through colorways if they are built into the file. Here at the top right corner, if you click on this arrow, you will receive a drop down and see colorway mode. Click on that.
and then it'll open up a window on the right hand side and then you can easily click through these colorways and also move around them individually. So the colorway mode within ClovViewer does only allow you to see one of the colorways in each window at a time. So you notice I can't see the red version and the black version all in the same window. But this is possible in another way if you really want to view your colorways that way. So instead of using colorway mode, I'm just going to close this and go back to simulation. Here I have the black dress now is open. You can combine multiple project files into one space. So when I was working in Clo, I had saved each color as its own project file. So I have a file that is the blue dress only, the red dress only, and the black dress only. You can also bring them in Clo Viewer. If you go to File, Add, Project, here I'm going to locate my three separate colors saved individually. Select a different color, choose Open. Now when this box pops up, the translation position is important. This dictates where the garment and the avatar will be placed when you open it into the 3D window. This point right here at the center of the grid is the 0, 0, 0 location. And you can think of the X axis as left and right. If I ask the new project that I am trying to import to be placed, uh, it, this is meters over here, one meter on the X position in the positive direction. When I hit OK, it's going to pop up on the right side of my avatar. Great. If I go to File, Add again, Project, I'm going to choose the blue version. So again, the translation here, I'm going to do negative one meter, and that will place the new garment and the new avatar in the opposite direction. I'm going to hit OK. Awesome. Then once all the colorways are in your window, you can move around them together and review your colorways in this manner. Hopefully this was helpful. You can very easily share projects with other people even if they do not have Clo. And there are multiple ways that you can review your colorways and look at things side by side. Thanks a lot for your time and good luck in your Clo learning.